In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the dynamic paint feature to achieve this effect in just a few minutes. You will learn how to download and set up the material and also how to set up the dynamic paint system. So let's get started. First go to this website to get free PPR material. I am going to choose this one and to access this library for free, you can watch this video. After downloading it, extract the file and open Blender, add a plane. Copy my measurements for best results. Go into Preferences and enable Node Wrangler add-on. Then go into the Shader Editor and press Ctrl plus Shift plus A and select these images. It will automatically set up the textures. Delete the displacement one as we are going to use the displacement modifier later and you are done. Go into the Modifiers tab and add a subdivision modifier. Select Simple and turn the value up to 8. After that, add a displacement modifier and set it like this. Select the displacement map, which you downloaded earlier, and we are done setting up the material. Now let's work with the dynamic paint. First, you will need the object that is going to interact. Make sure it is not that high poly. So what dynamic paint does is that it gives brush and canvas properties to your surface and object. It creates a map which is converted into depth for the surface rather than doing it manually. Select your object and go into this tab and add dynamic paint and create brush. After that, select your plane and create canvas. Select waves here and make these values to 0.1 and 0.2. And you are done. Now just make sure the object is touching the ground and you are good to go. These are the final changes you have to do. Drag the displace modifier at the end and copy my settings Add a plane and set up the material. Add your object and add dynamic paint to both. Create a brush for the object and canvas for the surface. Change it to waves and follow these settings and you are good to go.